Faith and power did great wonders and miracles among the people. Then there arose some from what is called in against God, and they stirred up the people, the elders and the scribes, and they came upon him, seized him, and Then the Spirit said unto Philip, Go near and overtake his chariot. So Philip ran to him and heard him reading the prophet Isaiah and said, Do you understand what you are reading?
the King of glory. The Lord, who is strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, lift up your gates, O you princes, and be lifted up, O eternal gates, and the King of glory shall enter in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, who is strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, rise and risen from the dead. And upon those in the tombs bestowing life, Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death. And upon those in the tombs bestowing life, Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death. And upon those in the tombs bestowing life. If anyone is a wise servant, enter rejoicing into the joy of the Lord. If any have labored long in fasting, let them now receive their recompense. If any have worked from the first hour, let them today receive their just reward. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death. And upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death. And upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death. And upon those in the tombs be sowing life. So the sinners will perish before the face of God. But let the righteous be glad. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death. And upon those in the tombs be sowing life. As he is the Son of God, saving the human race. As many as have been baptized into Christ, have put on Christ. Alleluia. As many as have been baptized into Christ, Son and to the Holy 
spirits, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. And the Lord of Christ, Alleluia. Give praise to the Lord, for He is good. For his mercy endures forever. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us arise, O Lord, and have mercy on Zion. Alleluia, alleluia. According to the Holy Apostle and Evangelist John. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him and without him was made nothing that has been made in him was life and the life was the light of men and the light shines in the darkness and the darkness grasps it not there was a man once sent from god whose name was john this man came as a witness to bear witness concerning the light that all might believe through him. He was not himself the light, but was to bear witness to the light. It was the true light that enlightens every man who comes into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But to as many as received him, he gave the power of becoming sons of God to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we saw his glory, glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth, If you think I'm going to try to compete with John Chrysostom, no, no. So he can remain standing with just a few moments. As I contemplated our arrival here at Pascha and thought about the readings over the course of our last Lenten period, I realized two things. As always, the gospel are stories about how people fell in love with Jesus. And some people learn quickly, and people like me are slow learners. Trying to figure out who this Christ is for me as well as knowing that Christ is for the world. What is clear throughout the readings, though, is that those people who showed an excess of love, who poured out their hearts powerfully and completely, who opened them in their neediness and their hope most widely and profoundly, are the ones to whom Christ was able to enter with great power to illumine, to heal, and to save. We benefit from 2,000 years of people opening their hearts in excess of love. And slower than I am, I know today that Christ is risen. I pray that all of us should know that and let it illumine our hearts. So let us indeed, as St. John Chrysostom says, who should know, and knows particularly well now, that this is the great feast, and whatever we come here with, rich or poor, whatever our need, let us bring it to the table to feast and to rejoice and give great glory to the God who has saved us, that we might become like God's own very self. Christ is risen. Christ is risen.
May the Lord God remember all you Orthodox Christians in His kingdom, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. May the Lord God remember in His kingdom His Holiness John Paul, Pope of Rome, His Beatitude Gregory, Patriarch of Antioch, His Grace William, Archbishop of San Francisco, and for Bishop John. And may the Lord God remember in his kingdom his grace, John, Bishop of Newton. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom our Archimandrite, Peter Hans, our proto and Thomas, and our Hageman, John. Glory to our God, remember in his kingdom the sovereign American people, the president, the civil authorities, the armed forces, and all those who serve and protect us. May the Lord God remember his kingdom all true believing Christians throughout the world, especially those who suffer persecution. May the Lord God remember his kingdom, all true lovers of God, who suffer persecution for their beliefs. May the Lord God remember his kingdom, all those people gathered here in all those intentions, especially on this Pascha. For the poor, for the outcast, for the marginalized, for those without blessing of home or family or house or job, all those who are sick and suffering, mind, body, heart, and soul, that we may be the blessed hands of the Lord for all. And may the Lord bless you in the kingdom, all of you now and ever and unto ages of ages. And that we may receive a King of all, who comes invisibly aboard by the angelic, angelic host. Alleluia, Alleluia. Christ is risen. 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 Christ